Whether the characteristics of tropical cyclones have already changed or will change has been the subject of considerable investigation, often with conflicting results. Amid the build-up of cyclone Mocha over the Bay of Bengal, experts now say that climate change is making cyclones more intense on both sides of the Indian coast. Large amplitude fluctuations in the frequency and intensity of tropical cyclones greatly complicate the detection of long-term trend and their attribution to rising levels of atmospheric greenhouse gases. Over the last few years, cyclones have made their impact visible on the Arabian Sea in the western coast and Bay of Bengal on the eastern coast. However, future projections based on theory and high-resolution dynamical models consistently indicate that greenhouse warming will cause the globally averaged intensity of tropical cyclones to shift towards stronger storms, whose intensity will increase by 2 to 11 percent by the year 2100. The most direct influence of climate change on the impacts of trop tropical cyclones is via coastal flooding. But what is a storm surge? A storm surge is a rise above normal sea level resulting from strong onshore wind and or reduced atmospheric pressure. Storm surges which accompany tropical cyclones can cause extensive flooding of coastal areas. The area of seawater flooding may extend along the coast for hundreds of kilometers with water pushing several kilometers inland if the land is low-lying. The worst impacts of a storm surge occur when it coincides with a particularly high tide. While extreme weather events are a natural feature on the climate system, the atmospheric and surface ocean of today contains significantly more heat than in the 1950s, for example. In fact, the rate of increase in global average temperature since 1970 is approximately 170 times the baseline rate over the past 7,000 years. But what are extreme weather events? The term extreme weather event refers to an occurrence of a value of a weather or climate variable beyond a threshold that lies near the end of the range of observations for that variable. Examples include very high and low temperatures, very heavy rainfall and snowfall in cold climates, and very high wind speeds. By definition, extreme events occur only rarely. They are noticeable because they are so different from usual weather patterns. And they, they are often associated with adverse impacts on humans, infrastructure and ecosystems. Since the beginning of this year, a number of deadly cyclones hit various places around the world. Starting from Madagascar, Cyclone Cheniso, that affected at least 83,000 residents and displaced nearly 38,000 people, killing around 33 people. In February, Cyclone Freddy hit the South African region of Mozambique, Malawi, Madagascar and Zimbabwe, affecting 500,000 residents and killing hundreds. After witnessing back-to-back -back cyclones and earthquakes, the Pacific nation of Vanuatu was hit by Category 4 Cyclone Kevin in March. And the nation was further ranked most prone to natural disasters by the United Nations. Lastly, days before the Indian Meteorological Department issued advisory about Cyclone Mocha, a severe tropical cyclone Ilsa hit Western Australia as a Category 5 storm, setting a wind speed record but sparing populated areas from major damage. May is the peak of the month for cyclogenesis in the Indian Ocean. Hence, the formation of a tropical cyclone is very timely. But the rapid intensification of these storms is a matter of concern. Researchers and scientists over a period of time have been blaming increasing global temperature behind the changes in the cyclogenesis, particularly over the Indian Ocean. 